Is it time to buy or sell Microsoft stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Microsoft. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, 17th July, 2024, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 14, 2024, our system has ranked Microsoft as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.41. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock has seen a gain of 6.47%. This translates to an average return of 0.15% per day since it was listed as buy candidate. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 16.15% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 16.15% and 24.71%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 41.65% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 33.70% and 50.74%. This translates to a price range of $592.97 to $668.54 after a year. Our latest daily update for Microsoft includes the headline, Microsoft stock price down 1.33% on Wednesday. The Microsoft stock price fell by negative 1.33% on the last day. Wednesday, 17th July 2024, from $449.52 to $443.52. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 1.29% from a day low at $439.18 to a day high of $444.85. The price has fallen in six of the last 10 days and is down by negative 3.43% for this period. Volume has increased on the last day by 5 million shares, but on falling prices. This may be an early warning, and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 22 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $9,640,000,000. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $468.35 and the lowest price was $309.45. Currently, the price is 5.30%, or $24.83, below the 52-week high of $468.35, which is also the all-time high for stock. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, July 17, 2024, it was reported that Bank of America Securities gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. On Friday, July 12, 2024, it was reported that Wells Fargo gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. On Friday, July 12, 2024, it was reported that BMO Capital gave Microsoft an outperform grade with a hold action. On Thursday, July 11, 2024, it was reported that Morgan Stanley gave Microsoft an overweight grade with a hold action. On Friday, June 21, 2024, it was reported that Citigroup gave Microsoft a buy grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Microsoft stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Microsoft. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Friday, July 5, 2024, and so far it has fallen negative 5.14%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. 
Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Some positive signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. The Microsoft stock holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average. At the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average, there is a general buy signal in the stock, giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $454.43. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $443.13. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal nine days ago. Bollinger, buy signal nine days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal eight days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 47 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 45 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, sell signal three days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 52 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 177 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for Microsoft. On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $415.13 and $406.32. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Microsoft finds support just below today's level at $415.13. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $406.32 and $399.04. In general, the stock tends to have very controlled movements and with good liquidity, the risk is considered very low in this stock. During the last day, the stock moved $5.67 between high and low, or 1.29%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 1.70%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Microsoft, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. This is a relatively normal PE ratio, often seen in businesses with long track records or predictable revenues. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2024 is expected on Joel 23, 2024. Analysts consensus estimates are at $2.90. Keep an eye on these numbers as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Microsoft. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Microsoft is at $446.95. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Microsoft encounters its first support level at $415.13. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Microsoft from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On July 15, 2024, Jala Alice L. conducted an insider sell of 177,469 shares of common stock. On June 7, 2024, Walmsley Emma N. conducted an insider buy of 234 shares of restricted stock units. On June 13, 2024, Rodriguez Carlos A. 
conducted an insider buy of 5,369 shares of restricted stock units. On June 13, 2024, Pritzker Penny S. conducted an insider buy of 20,894 shares of restricted stock units. On June 13, 2024, Peterson Sandra E. conducted an insider buy of 40,358 shares of restricted stock units. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative, with a ratio of negative 85.514. Overall, insiders purchased 14,177 shares and sold 204,299 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $420.72, 5.14% decrease. This stock has low daily movements, resulting in low risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top identified 53 days ago. Is Microsoft stock a good buy? Several of the signal's indicators are negative, and we believe that this will have an impact on the development for the next days and possibly weeks. However, over time, we think that today's level holds a potential buying opportunity and that the price will be higher during or at the end of this three-month period. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Thursday, July 18th, we expect Microsoft to open down $1 and start trading at $442.52. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.